Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie the Fergie. You want more Deadpool? Fine, have all the Deadpool. But like, not much more, please. I'm running out of ideas. This is part three, so you know the drill. Let's jump right in and learn about some more obscure versions of the Merc with a Mouth. Get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Alternate Versions of Deadpool, part three. Number 10, Cesspool. Cesspool is a particularly unsettling looking version of Deadpool who fought on the side of Dreadpool in the Deadpool Wars. Why is he unsettling? Because he has freaky looking mouths with sharp fangs all over his body. I don't know what's going on with him, but I don't like it. Thankfully he was killed because holy crap, I never want to see that thing again. He looks more like he belongs in Pan's Labyrinth than Marvel Comics. Number nine. Zombie Chow Deadpool. Yes, that's a Hearthstone reference. This Deadpool from Earth 15513 was exiled into the Deadlands and captured by zombies. When they realized that he had the healing factor, they started licking their lips knowing that this meant they could just keep eating his brains and have them regenerate. Thankfully, he was saved from this endless torture when Commander Elsa Bloodstone killed him, but this is probably one of the least ideal versions of Deadpool out there. Not that his normal situation is particularly ideal, but you know what I mean. Number 8. Future Deadpool. The Deadpool from Earth 13729 comes from a future time where the world is not what it used to be. He and his companions travel to the present to tell the past X-Men to return to their time, and Deadpool had some unexpected words for them. What sets this version apart from the others is that he seems to have basically had his soul beaten down. Gone are the constant jokes, replaced with a rather depressing outlook on the future of humanity. He gives a pretty serious speech about how the world is so screwed up they made him an X-Man, and how all the funerals are making it hard for even him to laugh. It's really cool seeing a new side to Wade, and it's good to know that all isn't lost when it comes to his sanity. Number 7. Fatty Deadpool. In Deadpool number 1000, one of his adventures took him to a weight loss facility, but he soon learned that things weren't as they seemed. Soon after entering, he was dropped into a lab, strapped into a chair, and began to be force fed. With a drinking hat with ranch and nacho cheese going right into his mouth and a conveyor belt of burgers, he quickly became more like the blob than the Deadpool we know. And when it comes time for heroics, he unloads an Ark of the Covenant style fart that lays waste to his enemies. Farts and waste. <laughs> Comedy. Anyway, he saved the day and drove off into the sunset on a mobility scooter. Number six, Mime Pool. I bet you'll never guess what Mime Pool's shtick was. Ah, first try. Yeah, he was a mime. He was a member of the Avengers, but in this reality, all the Avengers died except for him. But then a bunch of mind controlling berets fell to Earth, turning the corpses of Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man into zombie mimes. For whatever reason. Sadly, after the Deadpool Corps beat down the zombies, one of the berets fell on Deadpool, turning him into Mime Pool. So he was strapped to a rocket and blasted into space. Now, this came out a year after Wolverine Origins, and I can't say for sure, but it seems like it could potentially be poking fun at how a Deadpool that can't talk is just unacceptable. Number five, Space Punisher Deadpool. First of all, I gotta say that the art in the Space Punisher series is just bomb. As a Punisher fan and a fan of sci-fi, the series was a dream come true. The Deadpool in this universe is a member of a Hitman squad alongside Sabretooth and the leader, working for the Six-Fingered Man. He's still the wisecracking guy we know and love, who apparently enjoys being spanked while wearing diapers, but he's rocking a gnarly black and white costume. He rather quickly has his head ripped off by Space Hulk, but it was a pretty cool version of Wade. Number 4. Weapon Swastika or Golden Age Deadpool. Introduced in Captain America Who Won't Wield the Shield, this Deadpool, Frederick Wilson, was actually the screw up nephew of Woodrow Wilson, who has to wear a gas mask at all times after smoking so many cigars it was like he was mustard gas. He was later asked to become a super soldier, becoming Weapon Swastika, kind of like Weapon X but more Nazi ish. Frederick was later seen in the Deadpool Wars, surprisingly fighting for the good Deadpool Corps. And as a side note, Frederick is such a fittingly hilarious name for Deadpool. I love it. Number three. Week in the life of Deadpool. This is another Deadpool from issue 1000, set apart most by the art style, which resembled newspaper comics. We got to see Deadpool struggle with everyday problems in a distinctly Deadpool way. From determining whether margarine tubs are recyclable to dealing with self esteem issues, we got to see the everyday woes of everyone's favorite Merc with a mouth. Seriously, go read Deadpool 1000 right now. I'll wait. Just kidding, I won't wait for you. Next, number two. 
Horseman Deadpool. In the universe of Earth TRN 574, Apocalypse returned in the 21st century and Deadpool became one of his horsemen. With his previous skills plus the new Apocalypse powers, Deadpool was a pretty strong dude, defeating countless enemies and securing the Ark for Apocalypse. This was a really sick version. All his extra powers made him even better, plus he beat Iceman by throwing up a bunch of insects at him. Gross, but effective. Number 1. A whole whack of one off pools. Issue 1000 was glorious and incredibly helpful when making these lists. But one segment included a bunch of one panel versions that are pretty great, so here we go. I'll try to rattle them all off. Ready? <gasps> Dude pool, text pool, big head pool, fat pool, thin pool, tall pool, short pool, king pool, queen pool, rich pool, poor pool, hobo pool, third leg pool, yes it comes from his groin, bed pool, bath pool, green pool, blue pool, beard pool, afro pool, round pool, bee pool, car pool, chef pool, beard of bees pool, yule pool, drool pool, norse pool, invisible pool, fool pool, bear pool, frog pool, professor pool, mustache pool, fist pool, butt pool, and stick pool, which is totally lame. <sighs> you may be wondering who created all these dead pools. It was Hot Pants Zeus. No, it doesn't make any more sense in context. You're welcome. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. Which of these Deadpools was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.